This is for all you lovers out there. <laughs> you can step up your next date night by making some good sips for your special one. Yeah, Aubrey Halliburton and Lisa Considine of Low Bar Cocktail Services are here with some very delicious Valentine's Day cocktails. And like always, you guys have knocked it out of the park with your display. Even Thanks. we have gold coated strawberries edible here. Edible glitter, wow. yes, we have entered. Loving edible, edible glitter. Glitter. <laughs> glitter has entered the chat. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell us about some of the things that you're offering up this time around. Well, yeah, we have a couple of Valentine's cocktails to make today. Um, the first one is uh, our take on a lemon drop. Ooh. We're calling it Love Potion Number Nine. This which is, is like perfect. The, uh -huh. Reminds me of college, perhaps. Yeah, a little bit Maybe. like back in the day. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's definitely a throwback <laughs> cocktail for sure. I was like, what about a lemon drop? And she was like, hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, everyone's had a flavor for lemon. That's right. Yeah. You know, you're like, mm, I remember those. Yeah, and, and I love, I was checking out your menu and just how all of the drinks, they're, I mean, they're so creative. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. How do you come up with them? Well, we both love to cook. Yes. And so we have this really awesome kind of like meeting of the minds and we get together and we shop in the strip and we get a bunch of ingredients and then we just come up with. Come up Usually with we're like, ooh, things. how about cardamom? Yeah. Or how about black pepper? Or, you know, we'll think of like a specific ingredient. Like, this sounds like an interesting, we can make something out of cucumber. That's yeah. So we just kind of go with a flavor profile that we like. All right, so our lemon drop this time around, what yes. are we adding so to we're, it? So we're, we're stepping up our game a little bit here. So we're going to start with two ounces of vodka. And mm -hmm. are, is there anything that you like in particular? Do you guys change up your vodka preferences? We do, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's what we focus on is the other ingredients for the most that's part. What, so that's what that's very yeah. punch. Okay. Yeah, exactly. we do try to use local spirits. Today we did not. But that's okay. Um, we typically I just know do. There are some people who are like, it's Tito's or nothing. Yeah, and right. I would say the Tito's nothing. is the popular yeah. one when yeah. it comes to client. I, I send the client like a menu of what what they should purchase for their event. Yeah, and then they'll be like. Oh, can you give me brand ideas? Except I know I'm going to do Tito's. Yeah. So like yeah, anything right. else, so like what kind of bourbon, what kind of rum, but like the vodka, they always They always want Tito's, yeah. yeah. So. And, okay. I, and I love this and speak while you're making this drink. I mean, you're coming to clients to do this, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is what I love about it. Exactly, yeah. so we're going to do something pretty cool here. So we have this pea flower extract, which starts pea purple, flower. and then as we add citrus, it's going to change colors. That's so that's really pretty neat. fun. Okay, so we'll do two. Good. And tell us what pea flower is. It's just, it's a natural it's a, flower. It's just like the flowers from the pea vine. Uh, the like pea, pea vine? Shoot. Mm -hmm. Oh, how neat it's is that? Color. Dry it out and yeah, it's. So we'll shake it up. Okay. And then actually I'll put this glass here. So you yeah, can so you see can it. it. And then if we spritz the glass with some rose water. Mm. Oh. <laughs> actually, will you help here, me? I'll help you. <laughs> well, okay. And then strain it out. There we go. Okay. Will you spritz it for me? I'll spritz, yeah. We're spritzing, yes. we're dumping, we're pouring, we're So this shaking. is edible rose water. I mean, <laughs> it smells delicious. You can you could put it on your skin. Oh, if look you at wanted. the color <laughs> of that. That's beautiful. All right, and now and for then, the change of color. This is what's cool. So we'll take a half a lemon, put it in the citrus squeezer, and when you see it change, it's gonna turn pink. Oh wow. what a great display. How so, pretty. That's and then great. we'll garnish. With a with a dried rose, look at that beautiful. Go. Do you want to try this one or the yeah, next one? Yeah, I want to make sure I don't choke on the rose. Okay, there you go. <laughs> all right, and let's make our next one with love from Bombay. Tell us about this drink. Oh, it's so good. So I just discovered um, this Bombay gin. It, it's new to me. Uh, that has raspberry. They call it brambleberry, but it has raspberry and blackberry in it. Oh, look at that. And I don't typically like um, flavored. We don't make our cocktails with flavored liquor. Because you add the flavor. Yeah, yeah. Right, you guys exactly. Add the flavor yeah. But this one, I was like, look at the color of it. It's, it's totally, yeah. Beautiful. So then we're going to make, we make an amaretto syrup. So it's an amaretto tea from Allegheny Coffee and Tea Exchange in the Strip District that we make into a simple syrup. But if you're making this at home, you can just use amaretto, the mm -hmm. spirit. Okay. So anyway, it's an ounce of the um, blackberry gin, then a half ounce of the amaretto syrup, half of a lemon. I love these little lemon squeezers too. They're so the best cute. They're nice. idea ever. We, we pre-juice our lemons for our batch cocktails, but then when someone comes up to the bar and is like, I just want a Moscow Mule, we just do a fresh squeeze like of a lime right juice. Yeah. And then out. actually we're going to use a bar spoon of just strawberry jam. Ooh, yum. I would never think to put jam yeah. into a cocktail. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then shake it up. Shake it up. 
I'm, that's you the know fun what? part right it's there. It's a Friday, and yeah. we're, we're, we're serving it up right today. I can't okay. wait to try this and one. And then strain it into Strain here. it onto this, and then we'll top with the club soda. It's mm. great. Look at that. It looks beautiful, and we're and adding then in. then we have this edible glitter on Look those strawberries. That. So it looks beautiful as a garnish, but then you can also tip that strawberry over in your drink, and then it's just going to make the whole thing glittery. glittery. Oh, yeah. I love you it. You guys are so creative. Oh, yeah, that looks so pretty. Yeah. I can see the glitter in there. It's delicious, too. It gets you right here, that sweet little pucker of the, yeah. of the tartness of the berries. It's lovely. And if you wanted to make this non-alcoholic, you could make your own tea syrup and just omit the alcohol from it and just that tea syrup and some muddled strawberries and soda water would give you the same effect. And I, I can see it. how two drinks ne will never be the same. Like, and you guys are yeah. so creative. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you. Ladies. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. We're going to have the recipes for these cocktails as well as information on how to book Aubrey and Lisa on our website, katiekea.com slash talkpittsburgh. I love the glitter all through this. It's, it's cute. So yeah. cute. Yeah. For those celebrating Valentine's Day a little early, Mary, how's the weather looking? Oh, and I'm a little more, uh, just as glittery as those drinks, I think. You know, it's not as sunny but it's dry. We do have a few showers for Saturday and then Sunday, even more sunshine, but not as warm. But coming up, we're going to be answering your questions for your forecast by the hours. We'll be right back on Talk Pittsburgh.